Hey you guys, it's Elijah and I'm back with another video. Sorry I look a freaking mess. I literally just got up from a nap and I was like, you know, I have to do this video because I need to really work on being more consistent or I'm not going to make it anywhere. So today I am going to be doing a freshman college advice video or, you know, really anybody can use it because I'm a sophomore now and I use some of this stuff so it could be beneficial to everyone. So let's get right into the video okay so i have a total of 16 tips so i'm about to make this fast so we can get through it and so this video don't be super long so that i won't be too tired to edit it okay so first one is be yourself you're going to be around a lot of different types of people so don't feel like you have to switch up to fit somebody else to fit in it's just it don't work like that. Like you're bound to meet someone like you or hell, meet somebody that is different from you. It's fine. Just be yourself. I promise you will be fine. Um, My second tip would be to prioritize. Know why you're in school because like a lot of people I know personally, a lot of people like to just party or, you know, it's okay to party and have fun, but you have to know what comes first. You're in school to learn, not just the party. So make sure you're not wasting your money and make sure you have your schoolwork done before you go out and try to party. My third tip would be to get involved. Um, for my freshmen, um, you're new. You don't really know anybody on campus. So I think doing the orientation activities and all that that really helps you get to meet new people and that's like where i met a lot of people too and actually really helped so i do recommend that all right guys so my fourth tip would be to manage your time because for people like me i work and go to school and sometimes like you have to make sure you're on top of your stuff like you have to know when this is due when is that in, when that is due you have to make sure you know like you're going to be available to turn it in because these teachers they do not care like they don't like you could have multiple things due in one day you just have to find whether you have to do some in the morning you have to do some at night you got to get it done it's just how it is um number five study now i made it through all of high school without studying not one thing i don't know why i don't know i just didn't have to and i did good but high college just study that's all i got number six and the, before you start your classes, it's always good to look over your syllabus because your syllabus literally explains everything that'll be happening during the course. And that's always good to look at because sometimes teachers tangle some things up in there and they're just later on like, you should have read the syllabus. So like pay attention to your attendance policies, pay attention to your grading scales, pay attention to all that because it could hurt you. Tip number seven, don't be afraid to ask for help because there are people that can help you on campus. You just have to ask. If you don't ask, how do you expect to get help? Um, number eight, not everyone is your friend. Yeah, not everyone's your friend. Just have your few people that you trust enough to be your friend don't just go calling everybody your friend because it could be very bad because that one person that you thought was your friend that's all i got okay get your textbooks ahead of time if you can i don't know everybody's situation but me like i'm a hardcore shopper and I never get my textbooks before school start. Like I always wait until class has already started and I just be looking a mess and then I done spent all my money. And then, yeah, just if you can get your textbooks ahead of time, it can always help because textbooks are freaking high. And I was like always so used to have my textbooks. Like my first two semesters, there was no more than $200. This year, they were almost $600. So I know for next year, I am gonna look ahead of time. Number 10, don't overstress. You making a bad grade 
it's it's something small and it's something that can get fixed like you just have to try harder the next time college is a learning experience is what that's what i've came to well i've came to that conclusion like you're going to make mistakes like i failed a class I'm not happy for it and it was a hard it was just a hard class for me but I didn't beat myself up about it I just took it over the summer and it was so much easier for me it's just you have to I don't know everybody has different learning strategies you may have a teacher that you know doesn't teach your style and sometimes you just have to end up taking the lead and doing it yourself like teaching yourself outside of class I have to do that with some of my teachers and I'm doing fine. Um, get a planner. I really do recommend a planner. At first, I was like, you know, a planner. But, like, it really does help. Like, right now, I still haven't got a planner. And I really need to get onto that because I've been all over the place. But that helps with time management. Because if you have a wrote down in your planner, I would just cross it out as I go through it. And it just be so much stuff that it slips your mind. So, get you a planner. Um, number, I don't know what number I'm on now, but, um, my next tip would be do not do it 8 a.m. I've never had an 8 a.m., but I used to watch videos like this before I came to college and everyone said it and I ended up getting a nine o'clock and I did not like it. So if I can't do a nine o'clock, I know for sure I can't do an eight o'clock. The earliest class I will do now is a 10 o'clock and I don't even like to do those so next semester I'm gonna try to push further sometimes you just have to do what you have to do then okay sorry y'all I don't got my contacts in all right next thing do what's best for you like sometimes you go somewhere and you may not feel happy at that place or you may feel like this place isn't for me and you are thinking in your head like you know, if I leave this place, how would so-and-so think? Don't worry about what anybody else is going to think. If you're not happy where you are, find somewhere where you'll be happy at. Or if you're not happy with your major, or if you're not happy with who you're hanging out with, you can change it and it'll be perfectly fine because this is you and you're going to have to be the one who's going to have to deal with it. So it's always best to just go with your gut and... If that's what you want, go for it. And that also goes with, you know, stay true to yourself. Like, if that's how, you know, that pretty much just leads into the last one. I don't even know why I put that on there. Okay. Be open to new things is number 15. I say be open. When I say be open to new things is you're going to be around different people. You're, you're going to be around people from different places people that have different living styles keep in mind you're gonna have to have a roommate so you know how that can go so don't come into college like oh i'm only gonna hang out with this type of person or you're just like you know don't stay in a bubble that you're used to staying in because it's going to be different like it just is like me i hang out with so many different people and some of the people i hang out with it's like people i wouldn't think that I would ever like, you know, hang out with. Not like on no messy type stuff. But like, I'm serious. Like, I done hang hung out with people from different places, and like, you know, they. It's just different. Like, and even like with living situations, you live with a roommate. Me personally, I do a private dorm or an apartment, but you know, I still have to deal with people and. You know, if you're in college, bathrooms, you share. If you're in apartment kitchens, you share. Bathrooms, you share. You just have to, you know, not be afraid to step out the box. My last tip is number 16, and it's enjoy your college years. Because, I, like I said, I'm in my sophomore year. I'm, like, only halfway there. And I feel like it went so fast, like... I don't know, I kind of want to rewind it a little bit. So just enjoy it while you're here. Learn, but also have fun. This is a time for you to learn new things. You're out on your own. You're just, you know, learning where you stand in life. And that's fine. Just 
enjoy it. Don't overstress, like I said. Stay on top of your stuff while also managing to have fun. And I promise it'll be a breeze. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And comment, when you comment, comment me some ideas while you're at it. Because, I mean, I like doing the college videos because I'm experiencing it right I'm experiencing it right now so like I get to share what I'm going through with other people and it could really help because like I love watching it myself but um yeah just comment me more ideas and yeah <laughs>